A very good morning to all my dear students and all the viewers. So today's topic for the day is job analysis. So this is our unit third. So with these topics that we would be, uh, I would be explaining today, we would be completing our unit third for travel and tourism uh, management uh, third semesters. So we would be completing uh, the unit three with this. So job analysis. So today's topic, we start off with job analysis, understanding what is it. So job analysis refers to process of collecting information about a job. In other words, it refers to anatomy of the job. Job analysis is performed upon ongoing jobs. It contains, for example, uh, what are the duties of a supervisor grade two? What minimal knowledge, skills and abilities are necessary to be uh, able to adequately perform this job? So these are the questions that are answered by job analysis. So it is like I have read already, it is, about, it is a process of collecting information about the job. In other words, it refers to the anatomy of the job. So it is about collecting information of the job. So what, what are the, you know, this is job analysis is about understanding, you know, uh, about the job. It, it, is, it has got nothing to do with the individual. It has got nothing to do with the qualities or the qualifications. But this is simply understanding, you know, analyzing the job. So what are the, so let's say, let's say we are talking about uh, electrician. Okay. So what, what, what are the duties the electrician needs to do? What are the functions of the job? So this is job analysis, all right? So according to Jones, according to Jones, job analysis is the process of getting information about job, especially what the worker does, how he gets it done, why he does it. So this is a, a definition given by, you know, uh, uh, Jones. So close to that, let's also discuss about job description. So job description is prepared on the basis of data collected through job analysis. So we need to understand this. Um, so job analysis is done, you know, uh, even before, you know, the ads are out, the recruitment ads are out on the t television, newspaper and all. So, bef so beforehand only, before, you know, there are, there, there are recruitment ads out in the public the management needs to sit down and understand uh, a particular job all right so if they if so if they let's say uh, um, they, they need someone to uh, you know uh, they need they need someone to you know uh, uh, let's say let's take a simple example uh, of a driver all right so there is a position vacant for a company driver so so what analysis does is what what are what would be the you know what would be the functions uh, of the job right to you know to be a driver so that is that is what job analysis does so post that post the job analysis is done uh, post uh, you know the manage the management studies everything about what are what what needs to be done to hold a particular job so next comes your job description so in job description is prepared on the basis of data collected through job analysis. So job description is a functional description of the contents what the job entails. Uh, it is a description of the activities and duties to be performed in a job. All right. So job description, job analysis is a is, is, a, is it's a bigger picture, right? So and post that we have job description and it you know what it does is it is a description of the activities and duties to be performed in a job all right so let's stress on uh, activities and duties to be performed so yeah so this is uh, th this is what you know an an employee holding the job would require to do what is the activities and the duties to be performed in a job. So the relationship of the job with other jobs, the equipment tools involved, the nature of supervision working. So these all things are, you know, uh, are, these all things are taken care in the job description. So in the job description, uh, you know, we we also have in, in the ads and all we can see 
what what is what are the duties what are the responsibilities of the person holding a job so this thing is answered uh, in the process of job description so <clears throat> the next we have is job specification so we just have these three very brief topics analysis description and specification so job specification focuses on the job that is uh, job specification focuses on the person okay so let's we need to understand this till now analysis and description is all about the job all right so analysis will the the job analysis will tell you uh, what 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 are the you know what 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 does a person need to do all right so job description tells us <coughs> it explains us uh, the duties and responsibilities of a person holding the job now job specification now this has got to do with a person this has got to do with you know uh, a human being wherein job specification is a statement of the minimum level of qualification that is required the skills that are required physical and other abilities experience judgment and attributes required for performing job effectively so job description is more uh, you know we can say it's more uh, you know uh, it's more personal in nature yeah so it it specifies the minimum qualification that is required to hold a particular job the skills physical and other attributes that are required to hold the job the experience that is needed to be performing the job uh, the judgment uh, and and attributes required to perform the job effectively in other words it is a statement of minimum acceptable qualifications that are that a person must possess to perform given a job so this you know these are the three uh, uh, these are the three topics that we have uh, discussed today so uh, we need to, let's understand and a job analysis job description and job specifications uh, you know the reason why all these things are you know uh, you know undertaken by the management or the team is is to is to under, is to you know help the employee or hire the right employee or hire the you know you know the right employee in the job ultimately so that the person can perform the job well and uh, and you know bring uh, bring bring profits to the organization unless we have you know unless there is job analysis you know it would be very vague you know it would be very unclear we we would have a very unclear job description we would have very unclear job specification which in turn will lead us hiring wrong people and and that is going to be a huge loss for the company as well so let's let's all understand so even before you know the ads are out in the public the management sits down they analyze the job all right so let's say uh, uh let's say f um you know from point a to point b so the so the man so the company wants to move from point a to point b all right so this is this is what the objective of the company is so they want to move from point a to point b so what unless you know uh, someone is hired for helping the company to move from point a to point b uh, that would not be possible so what what so the person who is holding the job what he needs to do in order to help the company to move from point a to point b all these things are you know are crafted all these things are you know studied calculated via job analysis post that which we have job description which explains about duties and responsibility of a person holding the job and then we have job description which entails inf information about the qualities that is required the, the minimum qualifications the attributes that are required to be performing a job so these are the three topics that we have Uh, completed today uh, job analysis job description and job specification so with this we with this we uh, close our session for the day with a short session so with this we have completed our unit 3
for travel and tourism management semester third subject human resource management thank you very much